Hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday, uh, January 3rd, 2018. Uh, just get up a little early this morning. Early morning riser today. Heading into work. Got new group of people coming on. Um, challenging group. And I like that. I like a challenge. I don't like people to give things to me or say, here, here's an easy solution. Fix it. You know, it's an easy fix. I like, I like difficult tasks. You know, and that's the thing I said yesterday in my Instagram uh, post yesterday is like, dear 2018, give me pain, give me struggle, give me conflict, give me, give me challenges. I want it all. I want the hard stuff. Give me the hard life right now. Give me the hardest, you know, the hardest you can dish at me, give it to me. I want it. You know, I'm ready to take it on. Does it sound cocky? Yes, it does. You know, but at the same time, you know, it's like, I don't want an easy life. I don't want things to come easy for me. I don't want to make the easy decision, you know, because you make the easy decision about going, you know, p- human beings are naturally attracted to the path of least resistance. For me, that's not me. You know, when it comes to like hiking and, you know, choosing the easiest route to the top of a mountain, sometimes you need to choose the easiest path because, you know, if that's your first time doing it, you want to become acclimated to the situation and maybe you can try a more challenging route later. But for the sake of doing things in life, I want the difficult challenges. I want the harder routes. I want the I want the challenges, the conflict, the struggle. I want all of it, you know, because if I have to deal with difficult things now, I will be better prepared for similar situations down the road. I'll be better equipped and more easily to be able to handle difficult situations down the road. So I don't want easy. You know, if I have easy this year and then next year's a little rougher, you know, it's like I could fall apart. I don't want that. You know, give me a difficult day. Give me a difficult month. Give me a difficult week. Give me a difficult year. Give it to me. You know, I want the hard life. Give it to me, you know. So I'm asking for, I'm not praying for easy. I'm not praying for things to get better. I'm not praying or asking for things to improve. I'm not asking for any of that stuff. I'm actually, actually demanding hard. I'm actually demanding difficult. I'm actually demanding a struggle. I want difficult. Give it to me. And so there it is. You know, you know, fire me. Have me lose my job. Have something happen to me. I want adversity. I want to be able to get through all of it. I want to be able to learn from situations. I'm ready to take on anything. Give it to me. You know, so that's what I'm ready to do this year. And, you know, and it's not like it's a new year, new me type thing. It's like it's a new year, but I'm still doing me and I'm still making improvements every single day. So th- today I'm better than I was yesterday. You know, and I can tell you the way that I feel today, I feel exactly that. Today is better than yesterday. And I'm ready to take these new guys on and I'm going to help them fix. You know, we have nine or ten people and only one of them has their driver's license. And so I'm going to have to help each individual one of those people. And they're all special. They're all different. They're all going to have fines. They're all going to have traffic infractions. Some of them are going to have suspensions from legal issues. Some of them are going to have yada, 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 yada. It's all going to be a difficult path. You know, but I want that challenge. You know, it keeps me busy. It, I don't want to sit back and be like, well, what's next? I want to be going after what's next because I know what's next. You know, damn, I'm on fire today, man. I feel it. And it's, uh, I want the challenge. I want the difficult people. Give them to me. You know, and it's like, I want to, you know, overcome some things this year. So I'm ready for it. Are you? And that's what you have to ask yourself every single day. Am I ready for today? And if you wake up and you're just like, I don't want to wake up, tough, you have to wake up, you know, nobody wants to wake up, but for me, (laughs) yeah, I want to get out of bed, I actually roll, I actually kick my feet out of bed, I kickstart my day, you know, and it's because it's like, in the morning time, when I wake up, that's my time, that's my time, this morning I woke up around 4.30ish, 4.45, and I woke up, and I did some reading, you know, uh, you know, I did my Instagram stuff, which is kind of like research kind of thing. I did that, you know, and I also took care of a couple other things. And so, and I researched some like mountaineering gear. So I'm on fire today, man. And I got my workout done. I got 500 push ups done. I know that I was doing that challenge before, but it became sort of monotonous. And, <coughs> and um, it actually became to the point where uh, push ups were too easy. And, I needed more of a challenge, and so I kind of just deviated from that and started running a lot more, but I want to balance it out. I want to become a little more well-rounded, and I want to hit a lot of parts of my body because for running, um, on a flat surface, I average between eight minutes 
and eight and a half, eight forty-five uh, per mile. And I want to get that down as low as I can. Um, and the way to do that is to do you know leg leg workouts, and so that includes squats, the air squats, that includes lunges, that includes side lunges, that includes working your core, that includes leg lifts, that includes calf raises, it includes all that stuff. And so. You know, there's a lot of things I want to do this year that I didn't do last year. I didn't get a chance to do a half marathon. I want to do a half this year. I want to summit a mountain over 10,000 feet. And this year I'm ready to do Mount Baker in July. You know, and I want to do Mount St. Helens again. I want to do, you know, I want to prepare for Mount Rainier. I want to be able to take on anything. And so, you know, this is a new year. But at the same time, it's still me. But it's a new, it's a me, the same old me that's, ready to change and progress every single day and make progress every single day you know I want to continue reading I want to continue dating my girlfriend you know and I want to have that status change this year um and if you guys know what I'm saying that that's what I'm saying is I want that status to change you know I'm ready for this whole year I'm ready to take it on man Give, give it to me and so I'm ready for this year I hope that you are ready as well stay tuned big things are gonna happen um probably in the next two weeks and uh, I will keep you guys posted on what's going to transpire because, as you know, I did have a job interview. And no, I didn't get the position. But the thing is, I spoke to that manager yesterday. And he or she told me that you really interviewed well. We actually had a really difficult time choosing between one or the other. But the thing is, there are certain things you needed to work on or have some experience in that the other person did. And so that's what made our decision final. That, that's how we made our decision. So I was like, okay, great. You know, I got the answer that I was wanting. I, I didn't know, what. Well, why didn't I get it? Why not me? Why not me? I know why now. And I understand that. And I know that person who got the job. And I'm like, cool. I'm happy for her or him. And so it's okay. You know, it's, and it's a learning pro. It's a, it's a process. This is the first time I ever got an interview for a position of that magnitude. And so I'm, I'm completely okay with that. And so you know, the next time that I that I interview for a position like that, I know what to expect. I know what's going to be on the test. I know what kind of questions are going to be asked. I know what exactly to, to expect or look for in that department. And so it's like it's it's a learning process, and I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to challenge myself, take myself out of my comfort zone, and take it on. Take the bull by the horns. So I hope that you're ready this Wednesday because you know I am. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning.